first line equipment and today in front of us we have the Synchronica. It's made by ECM Germany. It's a high-end home model. It's beautifully designed and well crafted. It's a double boiler which allows for extraction and steam at the same time. It has dual gauges, one for brew and one for steam. It's switchable so it can be used as a tank or direct connect. It's great for entertaining purposes due to its large boiler capacity. The machine comes with two porta filters, a dual spout porta filter with chrome handles to match the E61 head, a single spout handle, a 58 millimeter two cup basket, a 58 millimeter one cup basket, a blind filter basket for back flushing, the direct connect hose to plumb in the machine and a catch basin for your drip tray, a group head cleaning brush, a solid 58 millimeter tamper, and a manual that comes in German and English. Hot water circulates from the coffee boiler through the E61 group head and back to keep the group head and porta filter nice and hot. To start the extraction process, lift the lever completely in the up position. You also have the option of pre-infusion. Any excess pressure built up in the group head will be released through the overpressure valve into the drip tray. The clearance from the drip tray to the spout is approximately 4 inches and accommodates most cups. There is a drip tray attachment that can accommodate smaller cups. The clearance between the attachment and the spouts is approximately three and a quarter inches. Under the drip tray there are two switches. The one on the left switches the machine from using it from water tank to direct connect. The one on the right switches the steam boiler on or off depending if you are using the steam wand. There's a hole pre-drilled into the drip tray to block the water. If you want to install a drain line, simply remove the nut. The catch basin will install into the frame and the screws are provided. The drain line that hooks up to the basin is not included. The power switch is located in between the two indicator lights. The one on the left is the power light. The one on the right indicates that the heating element is active. Above the indicator light is the PID controls. This display will cycle between the temperature of the coffee boiler and steam boiler. You can tell what is currently showing by the blinking light. If it's on the left hand side, it is showing the temperature of the coffee boiler. If it's on the right hand side, it is showing the temperature of the steam boiler. You can adjust the temperature of each boiler. To access the menu, press the plus and minus at the same time. The first option is T1, which is for adjusting the temperature of the coffee boiler. To change it, press the up key and immediately use the up and down arrow to set your desired temperature. Your setting will automatically save after one second. Press the minus to cycle to T2, which is the steam boiler. Follow the same instructions as the coffee boiler. The next option is CLN, which is the group head cleaning mode. 
You can set how many espresso shots you pull before the machine will indicate on the display that the machine needs to be back flushed. Manual states to back flush after every 90 to 140 shots you pull. We at First Line recommend between 50 and 60, but it's your preference. Press the minus to exit the screen. The steam wand and hot water wand are both multi-directional. To activate, pull the joystick in any direction. You can also lock in any direction if you choose to use two hands for steaming. Is approximately 16 and a quarter inches. With the lid open, the height is approximately 20 and a quarter inches. The water tank located in the back of the unit holds three liters of water. When the tank is low or removed, it will shut the pump off as well as the PID display. Once it's back in place, the machine will function as normal. There is one screw on each side to remove the side panels. You need an Allen wrench to remove the screw and the side panel will come right off. The coffee boiler as well as the steam boiler are stainless steel. Stainless steel is less susceptible to lime scale, but doesn't maintain its temperature as well as copper and brass. It's compensated by the insulation on both boilers. Both boilers have two thermostats and one reset switch. It has a powerful rotary vane pump, which is much quieter than the vibratory pump. The unit has two brain units. The relay and the brain units are located near the bottom of the machine so they are away from the heat. Most units only have one brain unit. This differs from other units. One brain unit is to control the boilers. The other is for the PID control. The PID display also acts as a shot timer. Thank you for watching our video. We hope you found it informative. If you have any questions, please visit our website or call our sales department. Thank you and have a great day.